Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video, I'm sitting down and sharing with you guys all of my favorite lip colors. I get asked almost every single video I post on YouTube, what lip color are you wearing? I always love your lip colors. What lip color are you wearing? Yada, yada, yada. A few of you have said, please do a video on your favorite lip color. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm so excited about this video. Lips and lip colors are one of my favorite things in the world, I'm always wearing something on my lips, whether it be a balm or um, just, you know, a lip color. So anyway, let's get into this video. I was very selective of what products and colors and everything that I showed with you. They are all my favorites. Very, very favorite, top notch. I love them. All right, let's get started with this video. All right, it feels like forever since I've sat down and actually filmed. It's been like over a week, which is insane, or at least like with my whole setup, with the beautiful lighting. For my lips, I just want to tell you what I have on my lips right now because this is probably one of my favorite combinations ever and I'll go into these all separately later because I know someone's going to ask me what I have on my lips during like the entire video. So this is what I have. So right now I have on the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner in Caramel Nude. This is my second tube of this. I've already gone through a full one. It is my absolute all-time favorite lip liner in the entire world. Love this stuff. The formula is amazing and so is the lip liner. And then I also have on the same brand, same style, so CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick in Tempting Toffee. Love these two together, love them separately, amazing. I'll go into these further a little bit later, but that's what I have on my lips. So when it comes to lips and everything, I think prepping your lips is one of the biggest things you can do to them. You don't want your lips to be cracked and gross and whatever. My favorite thing ever to use on my lips is this. This is Aquaphor Healing Ointment and this is the tube that I got. This whole tube for 1.75 ounces is like $4 or something and they also have little tubes of the healing ointment but it's like the same price for less than half of the actual like product if that makes sense. So that you're basically just paying for the convenience and the packaging. So what I do is get these little things. These are little tubes or little tubs from Walmart. It came in a pack of two for a um, dollar, so it was 50 cents, and then you just squirt the stuff in here. As you can tell, it's very thick. It doesn't come out, it doesn't do anything. Make sure you get the healing ointment because I've tried the lip one and it's just not as moisturizing, not as thick, and literally a tiny bit goes a long way. I'll show you me putting it on, but I seriously put on this much on my lips and it is so moisturizing. I put this on before bed every single night. Keeps my lips super nice and if I'm not wearing any lipstick or anything, then I put this on. And I always put this on while I'm doing my makeup, get it really moisturized, and then I wipe off like the thick residue and I'm left with still a little bit on there before I do anything else. Okay, and then like I was saying, my favorite lip liner is this one, Caramel Nude from CoverGirl, their exhibitionist line. All time favorite lip liner in the entire world. The color is phenomenal, you guys. It is the most beautiful thing. I will insert clips of me applying every single one of these products for you guys so you can see it in action because obviously I can't talk while I'm applying. I love this so much because it has an angled tip. I don't know if you can tell, so it makes it really easy and precise. I love that it's a retractable um, lip liner because I hate sharpening lip liners. It's really, really creamy so you can wear it all over the lips as just a lipstick. I do that all the time, almost on an everyday basis. My last video, I believe it was, the Christmas decor Walmart in, um, Dollar Store Haul, that one I just have on this lip liner. It's the most beautiful color ever. I love it, it's not too um, super nude, but not too dark. It's the best color in the entire world. It goes with so much. And then my obsession with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lipsticks continues. I always wear these, you guys. These are um, Tempting Toffee and Champagne. So first I'll talk about Tempting Toffee. That's what I have on right now over top of the CoverGirl um, Caramel Nude lip liner. And this one is perfect for this time of year. The like fall, winter vibe. It's just a little bit darker, a little bit more, um, I don't know, it's still a nude, but it's just a little bit darker. These are like a cream formula, and so they are like kind of a little bit shiny, but not as much of a gloss. They stay on the lips really nicely, but then they also like fade really nicely as well. Um, that's why I love this. This formula and these colors are my absolute favorite. I have so many favorites, but these are my top two favorites. So then champagne is the same type of formula but it's more light and more nude and just a little bit more pink. 
So right here, this was my favorite in like the summertime. I was wearing that nonstop with Caramel Nude as well. I really like it with Caramel Nude because it gives a little bit more definition on the outer part of the lips. That's how I make my lips look really big. I mean, I do have like nice full lips anyway, but a little bit of a darker lip liner on the outside really contours them and makes them look really nice and big. I highly recommend using a lip liner with like almost every single lipstick you're gonna use because it's gonna make the biggest difference on how your lips look. Love this shade as well. I would say I would wear it now. I wear it all the time, but um, if you want something that's really like a fall winter shade, I would go with Tempting Toffee, but they're both stunning, beautiful formula is just the same and amazing. So those three, those three products are seriously what I've been wearing since I moved, which was in <laughs> August. So I've been wearing them now, August, September, October, for like four months straight almost. I mixed in a few here and there, but I've been using them nonstop for four months. They're phenomenal. Okay, so those are like traditional lipsticks. Now I'm gonna go on to a little bit more of a liquid lipstick formula. Um, my all-time favorite since I was probably a sophomore in high school, or not sophomore in high school, sophomore in college, so probably three years now, is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Soft Spoken. This was my go-to lipstick for every single tailgate, every single event, the best thing in the entire world. I love this formula because it's not super drying. I love to apply it. I'll show you how I apply it. I apply it on the lips and then I like to dab it with some sort of like, I don't know, like cloth or something. Dab it with a paper towel just to make it so it's nice and thin on the lips. That's my favorite way to wear it. It's a darker nude color, mauve color, and it just looks stunning, you guys. It's my all-time favorite liquid lipstick color, and I would say formula, because it's not super drying on the lips. It's just so comfortable, it wears really nicely, and you could wear this all day long. And if I, if you do the trick, like I said, you dab it off either with your finger, like dab it with your finger afterwards, or dab it onto a paper towel um, before it fully dries, then it's not gonna be a thick layer, and it's gonna wear really, really nicely and you're not gonna get it all crusty and gross. And that, like I said, is a liquid lipstick. So that's gonna dry down nice and matte compared to Tempting Toffee and Champagne. The Exhibitionist ones, those are more of like a little bit of a shine glossiness. And then for something that's like in between the two, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade London. So if you want something that is way more nude, way more neutral, kind of on the beigey side, this is gonna be your best friend. And it is the most beautiful color ever. It has a little bit of like orangey undertones. This is when I really want a nude, I wear this. And I love this formula because, again, it's not super drying on the skin. This is what it looks like swatch. It's not super drying on the skin. It dries down, but it also like, doesn't all the way like it becomes transfer proof the more you wear it I believe um it does rub off a little bit at the beginning but I really don't mind that anymore I used to be the type of person that like always wanted a liquid lipstick but then I started falling in love with regular lipsticks again if they're a nude shade so like these kind of shades I'm fine with it but if it's like a red I usually try to veer away from it. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite like nude nudes and the formula of this is really beautiful as well. I know like Desi Perkins, she's a medium skin tone. She loves that shade too. That's how I actually like got the recommendation. So if you are a medium skin tone as well, I think you would really like that if you really like a very nude shade. Okay, now for my all time favorite red. Every single time I wear this, you guys ask me, what are you wearing on your lips? Like that color is amazing the best and more, most affordable liquid lipstick that's a red in the world. This is Wet n Wild um, Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. This is what I'm gonna be wearing all holiday long. Um, I'm gonna be wearing this probably Christmas time. You're gonna see this a lot in Vlogmas. I love a red lip, you guys, and my holiday um, makeup look that's coming up, I mentioned this as well. I think I wear a different shade that's a lipstick, um, that you, but I haven't worn that for very long. Like, I, I'm new to it, so that's why I didn't mention it in this video, but this is the best color ever. It's gonna make your lips look nice and bright and white because it has more of a blue undertone. Look at that color. It's like that classic Christmas cherry red. Look at right next to the light, or right next to the bulbs. It is, it is the best lipstick and it stays put all day long. I think these are like $5 at Walgreens or 
whatever. I think you can even get them on Ulta's website now because it's Wet n Wild and they're on there, I think, now. I love Wet n Wild so much. They have some of my favorite products and this doesn't disappoint. I've been wearing this now for two or three years now. My biggest pet peeve with red lips is that they would move around and everything, but this one stays put and you can wear it with confidence when you're like eating and everything. It's not gonna like get all over the place because I love a red lip so much for the holiday season. Just makes me feel super spirited and it also, even if it's not the holiday season, it makes me feel just like a boss, <laughs> like a red lip and nice makeup, a wing liner, get out of the way. I am going to rule the world, you know? Okay, last but not least are glosses. I have two glosses to mention. One I've been using for longer than the other. I'll mention that one first. This is the e.l.f. Um, lip, this is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Champagne. Can you tell I like that shade? Because that CoverGirl lipstick was in that shade too. Um, this, you guys, is the most beautiful shade Ever. So it's like a really nude, pinky, peachy gloss with the tiniest specks of gold in it. And the formula is just beautiful. It is more of a little bit of plumping gloss. I guess both of these are. Oops. Another lip gloss that I really like are the Ulta Shiny Sheer Lips lip glosses, but I like these two better. Um, it makes it, look at how glossy that is. So shiny. And it also has those light reflecting pigments, um, you know, just like the little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not going to make it feel chunky or anything on the lips. It's the, oh, it's the most beautiful shade ever. This looks beautiful on so many different lipsticks and I can never ever go wrong with this. Let me put it on top of this actually. I'll show it to you like multiple ways when I have it on, but. Look how like big and juicy and voluminous my lips look. It is the best with any lipstick. I love it so much. Um, and then the next one is this Milani lip gloss. This is their Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Champagne. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I love these shades. Um, this one again is more of a more of a pinky nude gloss, not less peach, and it does have like little teeny tiny shimmers in it. Not as much as the Elf one, but it does have a few. And I love the jumbo applicator of this. This one also is more pigmented than the other one. The Elf one is more of like clear with a little hint of peach. This one has more pigment into it, so it's gonna change your lipstick a lot more. So this one looks beautiful on top of champagne, tempting toffee, like a bunch of things if you want that like little bit of more nude on top of it. Look at how beautiful, so glossy. It looks like freaking latex or something on top of it. It's just, oh, I love glossy lips, but only really when I have my hair up because otherwise I'm not about to deal with hair flying in my face and getting on my lips and then it's smearing on my face. I hate that, so I only really wear glossy lips when my hair is up. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I finally was able to sit down and film all my favorite lipsticks for you guys. I know a bunch of you guys have been waiting for it, so I hope it really lived up to your expectations. They're all drugstore lipsticks because I'm not about to pay $20 for a lipstick. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm a very affordable person in that sense, and these are such good quality. There's no need to. So. All right, so this is the last video of a non-Vlogmas video. Tomorrow starts Vlogmas. I'm going to upload a video every single day. You got that right, every single day until Christmas. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. You can see how I decorate my tree, how I decorate my house, and also beauty content is still coming every Monday and Wednesday and Friday, so don't worry about that. But anyway, um, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in a video tomorrow. <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited. All right, bye you guys.